Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's um, YouTube video is going to be a camping essentials list. This is a list that I have been asked about. <laughs> this is a list that I've been requested a lot. Everybody wants to know what I take, what are my must-haves for camping. I don't even think it's basic. It's kind of got a lot of things in it. It's all of my essentials that I feel comfortable going. I have everything mainly in the car at all times so if I do need to zip away I just can so I don't spend a lot of time packing the car for camping usually which is so good and this is for me solo camping as well like obviously I take it all the time but this is just for me not for like a bunch of people or family and friends you know what I mean I've written a list and I'll just read you my list I've done categories too. I've got my fridge, that obviously, that kind of runs when I need it to. And then I've got my drawer on the left-hand side, which is my cooking drawer. So I have everything that I need to cook in there. And that's really it. Obviously, the food goes in the fridge. But, oh, and I've got my knives that are, like, out of that drawer. But everything's in the drawer. My cutlery, I just have a couple sets of fork, knife, and spoon. And you can usually get the ones that kind of fold in together. Because all of the stuff that I've chosen is compact like as compact as it can be and Sea to Summit is a brand that I'll mention a lot that does a lot of like hiking kind of cooking gear a couple small chopping boards usually when you buy a pack of chopping boards you can get like you just pick the smaller ones out pot and a pan I've got both the Sea to Summit ones the pot actually collapses all the way down into like a plate size and it's actually really good and then the pan the handle just goes underneath and then the I've got bowls and plates I think they're also Sea to Summit and they're collapsible as well but the plates were just from Kmart because Plates are pretty flat, you can't really go wrong with plates. A can opener, a couple cups, but my cups actually broke last night so I need to get some more cups. Usually as well, if I'm cooking like a big batch of food, I always take a container as well just for the spare food afterwards so it doesn't go to waste. Soy sauce, I don't actually know if you're meant to keep condiments in your car because it would get hot and stuff, but soy sauce is fine, I'm sure. It's pretty, it's pretty processed, so soy sauce. I've got the Dometic 30 liter, I think, fridge. I'll double check on that, but it's just a pull out drawer one and it's so good. I feel like it fits everything for me and you can really pack it in there. If I were to do my setup again, I could stack a drawer on top of that fridge or vice versa. So that could be a good idea as well for people looking at their setup for the chimney. Then I have a lighter, a couple gas canisters, which I shouldn't be traveling with. So I've been taking them out of the car, a gas stove. The gas stove that I have is the Companion Slimline one. This is the like, smallest gas stove that I could find that was actually kind of fun to cook on rather than like the um, jet bolt ones. They'd be really good for like really small camping, but it'd kind of be a stuff around. So this is like a proper gas stove, but it's very, very slimline. And I got that from like Snowy's Outdoor. Like I, I couldn't really find it anywhere. Like no BCF or anything has it. But Snowy's Outdoors. <laughs> Bin bags. Multi-purpose disinfectant wipes. I use that a lot to like wipe down dishes and kind of everything. Uh, recently there's a Sea to Summit like dishwashing kind of pack that you can get that has like heaps of different cloth and it folds up into this little fanny pack thing. And that's really good. Used that to wash my dishes last night and it was really fun. I want to get a foldable sink because washing my dishes has become quite a chore. <laughs> so it'd be nice to have a sink. Then water. I always, usually if I'm going on a big camping trip and I'm prepared, I go to Woolies and get the like goon bag kind of water. Otherwise, I always kind of just pack a bunch of big, big water bottles. And I think that's everything that I have in like my cooking drawer scenario. So that's just like cooking. That's pretty, that's pretty extreme. You probably don't need all of that stuff, but, oh, and a spatula. Did I, did I say a spatula? I have this really cute spatula that folds out and it's kind of like Spongebob's spatula. Yeah, it goes really long. If your bacon's splattering, you can go. As my camp setup, I have some sort of something, some sort of vessel <laughs> to sleep in, whether it's like a swag or I sleep in the car, depending on the kind of trip. In the car, I've just got the Kmart extra large dog bed as well as some blankies and a pillow. The swag is the ARB Sky Dome double swag. But if you're only just like a single gal living her best life, I would get this single Sky Dome ARB swag because it's so good because you can look at the stars at your feet. Like you put your, put your head where your feet goes and you can look at the stars. And I used that for the Uluru trip and it was amazing. But for my stretcher, because I've got a double swag, I use the Oz 10, no, Oz Trail, Oz Trail double swag. But everybody asks me if it's good, and it is good, but it's just got a middle pole through the middle, so you can't really like cuddle. 
but it's good because it cocoons either side. It's really, really heavy. So it's kind of annoying to take everywhere. But it's good. It's, it does the job. <laughs> Torches. I have my multi-tool in my car at all times. And I have a chair most of the time. This chair is actually my favourite one. I don't own one. I've just borrowed all of my friends for the past like two years. But it's the front runner foldable one. But it's, it's so good. <laughs> it, it gets a bit stiff. It folds up just to fit in my little boot. I just put it in there and then I close my door. So I recommend this chair. This is probably like the most comfy, compact one that I've found. Still don't own one, but I borrow everybody else's. An awning. Everybody needs an awning. Um, just for like, sorry, I'm getting really excited. Just for shade, duh, and also when it rains, you need some sort of protection. So I've been using the Bushwhacker. Well, first I started with an ARB, like pull out one. And I don't recommend that. If you're just starting off, you may as well go big and get like a big bat wing one because it makes it so easy as a solo camper as well as just you get a lot more shade. This one is the Bushwhacker Mini Darkness which is coming out very very soon for all of the SUV and Jimny owners, just the small four wheel drives. It's I think 180 long and it's great. It's so awesome. It's got lights into it as well but I do connect to my companion battery setup which is just a dodgy kind of like temporary battery setup that I've been using for the past three years but it's um, a portable battery and it just plugs in your basics but it doesn't last any longer than like two three days you can also get the drop balls there can you see it yeah oh good so it's got the poles but I don't think even the awning that I had before this which was the straighty 180 I never pulled out the poles like barely ever and also on the other side, I have a little ensuite tent, which isn't really an essential because you don't really need it. Um, but I just find it, it's really good for when you're camping with a toilet or a shower, or you just want that like privacy to get changed. Super, super easy. It's got like a, a little false floor. I think it has a roof as well. Now in my little boot, I have like this teeny, the Jimny owners know you have this teeny little flap and that's what I call my boot. And that's what I just chuck all of like the random essentials in that are good to just have. Electrical tape, tent pegs, hammer, a shovel, a dust brush, some baby wipes, mozzie repellent, some sunscreen, some toilet paper, some zip ties, first aid kit, a shower. Um, I have the Chaos one, which is really good, but I think there's heaps around that just are like battery powered. Oh no, I think the Chaos one's rechargeable. Fire starters and ratchet straps. And I think that's it. Oh, and you might want jump starters. Like jump starter leads are always good to have in your car. Some sort of table would be really awesome, but if you just get a little small one that you can kind of tuck in your boot or on your roof, some sort of table. But I have a drop down table that I DIY'd and you guys can watch that YouTube video, I'll link it. Do I even know how to do that? I'll link the YouTube video that I did for the DIY drop down table, but it was super fun, super easy, and I feel like anyone can do it. I think that's it. Did I miss anything? That's a pretty good camping essentials list. Oh, I forgot the main ingredient. Good vibes. That's really it for my camping essentials. If I forgot anything, I'll leave it in the description and I'll also leave a little list for you guys as well. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time on my YouTube channel. Oh, and also um, check out my Instagram, Abby underscore Lister, as well as my TikTok, Abby underscore Lister. That's it now. See the. But I haven't brushed my teeth for two days. Yeah, you're saying green in there. I haven't had anything green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my nails are dirty.